Greetings, my fellow Tarnished. It is the Ash Heritor. Welcome back to Elden Ring. This here is episode number four of our playthrough of the Shadow of the Urgery DLC, and here we stand before this uh, large gate. In the previous episode, we explored a little bit of the side area, including the Bellarat Jail, which we found some uh, interesting things therein, including the... Uh, Truth behind the jars. The jarring truth, if you would say. Uh, I'm sorry. That was not very good. Uh, <laughs> we encountered our first uh, NPCs here as well. So we have... Um, this guy is one of the horn scent. Still not exactly sure what a horn scent is. And uh, Freya here. They're both seekers of Mikola. We will, of course, continue trying to seek Mikola. There is... Whatever this place is, this might be our first legacy dungeon. But I was busy exploring around the lake, and around the lake we of course had the Ghost Flame Dragon, which was a uh, pretty cool, if rather dangerous, enemy that I ran away from like a coward. Um, I will continue avoiding it like a coward, but I will continue exploring around the lake, because you never know what there might be found. We also found traces of this uh, mysterious fly sickness, which just sounds delightful. There might be more. Alright, what do we have? More of these just spirit graves all over the place. We'll head down this side here. This doesn't appear to be a way down from where we are right now, aside from the uh, quick and easy route down, which is also the final route down, should I decide to take it. Um, but let's head on over. There's some sort of structure over there. I'm sure there will be something to be found in this structure, but on the off chance there's some secrets or cave. Who knows what right along here. I'm going to move along and find out. Do we have anything down there? No. This is just a gap into nothingness. I mean, I'm sure there's something down there, but I don't know what it is exactly. And uh, I'm actually going to preemptively shut off my WhatsApp web just so that it doesn't make any noise. Somebody sends me a message. Alright. Okay, just looks like another one of these arches here. There's a material, ah, just rot of fruit. Thought it might be like a, a spirit grave fragment or something. Okay, I was I was hoping for something a little bit uh, more interesting, but just a grave. But then we do have just some weird spiky stuff over here. Some spiky fences and... Yeah, it's a white eagle. It does look a little different from the normal ones. It might just be the lighting, but I have uh, whacked one of them already, and it just dropped feathers as usual, so... Oh, hello. Oh, this is <laughs> back to the Bellarat Jail. Okay. Well, we don't need to go in there. I should let you know, I did explore further in the Bellarat Jail, and I found two more of the uh, large... Um, the Hefty Pot Fragments. So, these. We now have four of them. So, those were two of the items that were in there. There was one final item, but I cannot figure out how to reach that. Uh, and I spent a little while uh, attempting to do so, so... I don't know. Okay. I was kind of hoping that would work. Uh, that's also not a real one. No, it definitely is a real one. But we've also been here, so... There's not much reason for me to uh, explore this area again and fight the, uh, the grave birds. Not to be confused with death birds. Okay, we're still apparently in combat, so I can't look at my map. But then, looking around here, I, I kind of feel like we've then explored everything around the lake. I mean, aside from the, the enemy, we can definitely go down there. Not from here we can't, but oh god. Is that... Tell me that's not how you get down there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Alright, so this was the, uh, yeah, the fly village, the abandoned ailing village, though I'm not sure if we actually went in here. There are some more flies here. But I think we missed this building. Indeed we did, because there is an item in here. And a purple one with that. So, let's, uh, kill our first enemy. This episode, the Greater Potentate's Cookbook number 10. Um, yeah, of the Greater Potentate, who roamed the lands near and far, haunted by the grotesque practice of his village of birth, he stuffed 
Yeah, okay, so this is gonna create the hefty fly pot. Excuse me? What's that gonna be? Oh, it's just a bigger one of these. Oh, joy. Uh, that is definitely something I'm gonna want to use. I am very glad we found that. We're gonna check behind the building. There does not appear to be anything back here except for a broken rune. Which I will grab. Okay, so we have now officially explored everything here. Which kind of leads us to this area up there that we can get to. To explore along the uh, the high wall of, uh, not Lothric, but something. And then there's the Ghost Flame Dragon, who... Like, I'd love to give him another try, but we did so little damage to him. There's also the bridge. We could cross the bridge, or we could go under the bridge here. Let's actually go under the bridge before we explore the, uh, the wall. And, yeah, I've been there. I'm not sure if I've already gone under this area, but that's something. I think we're going to find another one of these, uh, indeed, larval tears here. Very cool. It's like, not a night encounter, but a night item. Okay. Looks like there's something here. We've not explored down here, so that's nice. What do we got? Three... The Furnace Visage. A smaller imitation of the Furnace Golem's Visage. Material used for crafting items. Exceedingly rare to find. A stone mask surrounded by curled horns depicting the fell god of fire that haunts the sagas of the horn scent. Okay, so the horn scent are connected to the fell god, which is the god that is, of course, connected to the fire giants. And we have the last... So we have the Hefty Furnace Pot, which is, of course, going to involve those reagents that we just found. Um, so this is going to be a superior version of the Volcano Pot, I would imagine? It's, where do we find that, actually? The Hefty Freezing Pot? The Hefty Furnace Pot. Oh, here. Okay. Oh, we need Ember of Mesmer as well, which we only find in Skadu Altus. So, like, this is the Shadow of Altus. That's really cool. And the Furnace Visage is exceedingly rare to find, so... That's, uh, not going to be, uh, a thing that we can frequently create. The Hefty Furnace Pot. Craftable item prepared with a capricious cracked pot, imbued with the Hex of the Furnace. Throw an enemy to create a Whirlwind of Flame. The furnace's flame burns away both body and soul. When impurity is thus expunged, one calls it cleansing. Let's actually read the hefty fire pot. Okay, this doesn't say anything interesting. Um, and we can read the hefty chilled pot. Also doesn't say anything interesting. However, the swarm one, the fly pot, might throw at enemies to set large swarm of blood flies upon them. The vile swarm deals damage and greatly builds up onset of blood loss. The cacophony of their wings assails the sanity of berserkers. Berserkers, huh? So, if we find an enemy that we get any indication of that it might be a Berserker, I think I want to throw one of these at them. We might have an interesting interaction like the, uh, the Glintstone throwing knives and the imps. Uh, the maggots found in waste feed on blood and turn into vicious flies that are pitiably short-lived. Oh yes, pitiably. Okay, so the standard swarm pot does that as well. So, that's might not be a... Uh, a thing in the DLC, but rather in just the base game. So I wonder if those, uh, the gladiatorial, uh, combatants that you find in the base game. I forget what they're called. The ones wearing the, uh, the giant Mermillo helmets. If you're wondering what the hell a Mermillo helmet is, if you think of the helmet that a gladiator wears, that is most likely what you were thinking of. The very wide-brimmed, the grilled mask. The, uh, not super high crest, but, uh, Obviously, quite a few other helmet types worn by the various uh, types of gladiators, including the uh, the Secutors and the Thracians, which Thracian was also just a name of a people. But uh, Rome being Rome, we're like, yep, we're going to, uh, after we destroy the Thracian civilization, or at least go to war with the Thracian civilization, we'll name one of our gladiator types after them. Yeah, that's where I just was. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm gonna check down bottom of the wall here. I think 
I'm pretty sure I was just here. We followed along this side, but... Yeah, yeah, we were totally just there, so let me, let me remove that. I do not need to go that way. Um, so we already explored that side of the lake. There is just the matter of the horrible thing over there, so I'll leave a marker. Okay, the it's going. So, then it's under the arch and up this way, right? You can check this thing out, whatever that is. So, I need to actually go in the right direction towards the giant arch, which is going to be back up this way. Shadow dogs? Must be. Right, we got some shadow people up here, too. What do you drop, actually? I can't remember. Rot of fruit. Yeah, just the basic stuff. But you never know. Like, the, the aristocrats, they seem to only drop the really basic reagents, and then every now and then they actually drop some gear. Uh, something died. We just got runes from it, so that's interesting. Not sure what died or why. All right. Well, um, let's take it slow. So we can definitely go up there. And of course, back along here. However, oh yeah, we have shadow people here as well. It is very hard to see anything. So let me quickly, there we go out the ghost flame torch so we can at least get some illumination so we don't miss anything here all right doesn't look to be anything up here just wanted to look and see my apologies if i've already been up here i have some like vague deja vu but it's been a lot of places to explore inevitably i might accidentally explore a place twice and you know what it's not necessarily a bad thing because there are things you can find. Okay, so they're all praying to whatever that is. The shadowy building that is just kind of bleeding into the sky. Which uh, might be the origin of these uh, shadow people. I, I don't know. Again, I kind of think the shadow people might just be the souls of the dead from the lands between that were raked up by the uh, the death birds back in ancient times. Uh, but I could be very, very wrong on that front. You are a squirrel. Okay. I'll quickly check up here. You are a... That does nothing. Let's pull out the actual sword here. Now... Alright. Okay. That's enough of you. I feel like I've been here. Yeah. Right? This was the, the place with the bats. Unless there were multiple places with bats. Not so sure. So even the bats drop broken runes. Yeah, and this is going to lead us to there. So I've been here. Okay. And we have a better way to get there. Alright, so... Up it is. Up it is. We've not been this way. Yeah, I am exploring the like the the sides, the the edges, and even you know, periodically looking down off the cliff to see if there's something you can drop down onto. It's just, I, I don't really want to miss anything in this game. I inevitably will, but I'll do what I can to not. Alright. Well, side of grace. And a person. Presumably another one of uh, Mikola's operatives. We have another scout of tree fragment here. Very nice. And you are... Um, interesting looking. Cool looking helmet. You have a beard. You have a very cool looking helmet. And a cool looking robe. You look like a sorcerer. You must be the tarnished. I am Ansbach. No. Oh. Formerly in service to Lord Moog. Yeah, why? Well, me but too. But now, like you, another soul guided by kindly Mikola. 
I'm hardly the steady hand I once was. My fighting days are far behind me, which is why I have chosen to dedicate myself to investigation. Cool. To discern Tender Mikola's ultimate purpose. Mm -hmm. I'd rather not volunteer service to a new master unless I know that I can be of use. May I request a service of you? Six crosses identical to this one have been discovered in these lands. They are akin to Tender Mikola's footprints or gravestones, which mark what he's left behind. If you discover any more crosses, be certain to tell me. I presume you, too, are keen to know just what kind Mikola is doing here. Yep. Sure if you discover any, be certain to tell I presume you just what... All right, well, we can't tell him anything if you further. Discover, be okay. certain to I presume you just what... I, I wanted to touch this thing. Touch the cross. I abandon here a part of the flesh of my body. Okay. Right at the entrance of this castle. Yeah, the, the, I said before, like, this might just be a weird rendering. I don't think it's a weird rendering. I, I'm pretty sure that's very deliberate, how that looks, which is also very cool. So, have a quick uh, gander around the sides here, see if there's any uh, sneaky side entrance we can exploit. Or rocks to... All right. Whatever you say, horse yak. Okay, more rata fruit. And... Yeah, that definitely looks like an area we can go to later. Certainly not right now, but... We should probably just jump off of here instead of trying to scale up the, uh, the cliff wall. And I'm just going to look down the side here. It doesn't look like there's anything for me to concern myself with, so I think we'll just head on up here and then explore along the side of the walls. So I'd reckon there'd be something if we do it this way. In any case, there's a whole lot of these uh, fireflies, which I'm not averse to picking up so we can make more flaming giant fire pots. If you can ever truly have enough of them, I'm sure. I mean, you can have your maximum amount, but... Beyond that, one can always make more. So, let's see here. Not much over in this direction, either. Nope. All right. Well, uh, let's get some feathers. Aim it all the hell. Alright, let's knock out some feathers. <laughs> and head into this door. I'm not sure what to make of any of this. The architecture... The architecture of this place kind of gives me, uh... Nox vibes? The spiral pillars? Or, or, or Faramazula? I can't remember which one. Let me know uh, what you guys think on that regard. Alright, well, in we are. Uh, what am I looking at? That is a scorpion spider thing. So there's all kinds of uh, items associated with scorpions. And have we now finally found the source of why there are so many items associated with scorpions? By so many, I mean just a couple. They're talismans, right? Yeah. Patterned on a scorpion freshly shed of its exoskeleton, its claws seize a heart that burns with fire. So that doesn't tell us much. However, we even have a knife equipped. That might tell us more, just unequipped it. Dagger fashioned from a great scorpion's tail, glistening with scarlet rot, a ceremonial tool used by heretics crafted from the relics of a sealed outer god. So are scorpions associated with this outer god? Oh my god. It's like the worst mix of scorpion and spider. Okay, it's not very tough. I thought this would be like a mini boss or something. I'm guessing this is just going to be a normal enemy. Oh 
Hello, but I'm not arachnophobic. I even had a pet scorpion when I was a kid. But this is uh that was a bit gnarly. Anymore? Am I gonna get jumped by one? That's what I'm now concerned about. Fuck's sake. Here, that's some fucking fire. Alright, that didn't do nearly as much as I would have liked, but... Okay. Oh, you're leaving now, huh? Here, have some more fucking fire. Okay. Two kills. I think I can deal with what's left. I'm standing on something. It might be a trap. They're not tough, thankfully. Alright. What do you drop? Scorpion liver. Yeah, the livers, that's what we're grabbing. Spider scorpions. Well, fresh organ of a spider scorpion. It is referred to as a liver, but no one is sure, quite sure of its purpose. Uh, it's probably not a liver. Uh, found by hunting spider scorpions, a delicacy known for its numbing toxins. <laughs> uh, God. What is this? Oh, no. I don't like it. I'm glad I noticed that, though. I don't like it. Ugh. Why? Why are you like this? Okay. I mean... This is a solution. Can I get you from that? Oh, yeah. Alright. Reduvia. Reduvia will solve this problem, and... Your pro okay, so these statues, we now have a better indication of what these statues are supposed to look like without their heads. You're one of the horn sent or one of the cursed? I don't know. Somber Smithing Stone 1? Really? Okay, I should if I have uh, my, my knife out and uh, properly pick up both of my knives. I don't think any of these are, uh, illusory walls. Alright, up we go. Alright, I'm actually going back to, uh, Morgoth Sword. Got a bit of reach. They're already on the ground. Like, so did, are they gonna have a repelling attack where they can, uh, drop on our head and, you know, eat our face or something? Oh, God. It's a big boy. Can we switch back to the Bloodbone arrows, perhaps? It's quite effective, actually. Alright. And the first sword. Ah, God, they jump! Please. <laughs> I don't like it. Anybody else? No. I think that's all of them, unless they can hide in the ground. Fireproof dried liver. We cannot use our horse, so this is either a dungeon or our first legacy dungeon. It's unique interior. But then again, anything could be a unique interior. I fucking knew it. Alright. Yeah, that's that. I will be having none of that from any of you. Okay, none hanging from the ceiling. We can just jump out of nooks and crannies, more black fireflies, and an open area. Not hanging from the walls? That'd be real nice if they weren't hanging from the walls. Yeah, look at that. It's like half formed up there. I'm very intrigued about what this place is. It, it also, like, visually, this looks fucking cool. Lions with horns. I'm getting serious Crucible vibes from everything, so... Bellarat, the Tower Settlement. Well, we have a name for this place, and our first, uh... Are you, uh, are you hostile? No, but... Do drop silver horn tenders. And we have our first sight of grace. Damn, this place is cool looking. 
Okay. It's gonna be very uh, slow and methodical about exploring Bellarat. Because I believe this is gonna be our first uh, legacy dungeon. Bellarat the Tower Settlement. Alright. So we're gonna head left first. I will default to the uh, the Cursed Sword. It just has a good mix of reach and damage, and it's not slow. Or at least it's it's R1 isn't slow. It's initial R1 isn't slow. Of course, I picked the door that... Or I picked the direction that we can't go. Because of course I do. So I guess we'll go right. But not before I run into all of these walls like a lunatic. There must be some sort of visual distinction to the illusory walls, or at least, I can't remember, was there? First off, can we open this door? No. Left it is. Got some noises. Sounds like running water. Yep, yeah, definitely. Okay, we got ourselves a... Oh, you are larger than others, and significantly cover. You're wielding a cleaver of some kind, thankfully. You stagger, like most other enemies. Stimulating boluses against sleep. I'm just picking them all off because I don't know if something's ever gonna make them go hostile. Also, they drop these silver horn tenders, which might be handy. Okay, so you just ow. Okay, you very much fit the bill for the DLT of relatively easy to take down, but hurt when you hit me. Came out of the waterfall. The waterfall is brownish, reddish, golden. It's not resin. What are these, like, objects here? Are they traps? No, they seem more ceremonial than anything else. Yeah, there's candles in them. Or, I don't know. This was a slightly different setting, I would say light bulbs, but I'm going to assume it's not light bulbs. Don't think uh, Thomas Edison has visited the, uh, the land of shadow, or the lands between, or Tesla. Couldn't resist. <laughs> well, they're all nicely... Oh, God, we can go down into a well. Better not be any goddamn sharks down there. Uh, first I'm going this way before we head down into the well. And I would like to take out the one next to him. I'm confident we can finish off the uh, big boy. Oh, he's coming. Ow. I rolled. Or I clicked roll. you drop. Okay. A lot of smithing stones. That's that's nice. I mean, I've got a fair amount and can easily buy them. I have no qualms about spending my runes on them. Oh, God. So, the spiral? Symbolic of the society's upper echelons. S coding spiral horn. So, th this must be part of the, uh, like that, that's the spiral is significant in the form of the attack that they're doing and other things as well. Screw it, we're going down the well. That looks dangerous over there. The well looks safer. It can't can't be as bad as Bloodborne's well. And I'm, now I'm getting Lanedale sewer vibes, which is uh, filling me with dread. All right, so that's locked. Yep, the reach on this is pretty good. Mesmer Fire Grease. Excuse me. Solidified not grease made from a mixture of incendiary materials. Coats armament, adding heavy fire damage to attacks. Only lasts for a short time. Fire was a symbol of the Crusade, and even Mesmer's rank and file soldiers would wield it. Indeed, we've already learned that much. Um, can't get through there. I. You know what? I'm suspecting this well approach might be a shortcut back from somewhere. Because this is locked, or we need to find a key. Actually, if it's locked, we probably just need to find a key. So, I guess we're not going into the well. Good to know. If we find a well key, 
or a, uh, a sewer key, then uh, I think we'll explore down. And I have a theory, because there's still that one item that was very distant, and there wasn't any obvious way to get it within the Bellarat uh, jail, that perhaps we have this sewer actually connecting to part of the Bellarat jail. Because we know in the base game there were a couple uh, places in Lane Dell that uh, did something similar, which was very cool. Okay, we have more of them. So I'm actually going to go back to the regular arrows, because these guys appear spectral enough that I'm just kind of assuming that they're not actually going to bleed. Let's get his attention. At least pull him away from the others. Can I, uh... Switch to a two-hand? Thanks. Alright, down he goes. Okay, so that does damage. <laughs> yep, I saw you there. Or Mesmer Fire Grease. So these are probably like if they're if they're horn scent, which I'm getting the sense that these are dead horn scent. Or I could still be operating off the theory of their, the dead of the lands between. I honestly don't know. Could, could go either way at this point. I'm not set on any of the theories. Um, birds. Grave birds up there. I see them. So we should keep an eye out on those. Alright, let's get under them. They can't hit us with anything. And see if there's a way. Yeah, we just have to go up. And presumably we're going to get attacked from behind. Anyone on that? No. Alright, here we go. We got another one right here. Uh-oh. Don't like it when it does that. But it worked out fine. More black fireflies and a way in through here. But first, I'm going to roll into this door. I... Yeah, we haven't found any illusory walls yet. Something just shot at me. Else there. There's an item. Silver horn tender. Okay. Uh, nothing too important. Hi. Bye. Hello. Well, that's awfully nice with the game. Wasn't expecting to find another one of you so soon. Uh, I'm going to not rest because we haven't used much flask. And that's just going to cause enemies to respawn. In case we need to backtrack, I'd rather that not be the case. Alright, so they're gone. They drop black fireflies sometimes too. And this is going to be a another locked door. <laughs> Alright, well. This is a place we can go. Across the rooftops. We can't come back from that. We can come back from here, at least for the moment. Uh, we're likely to be attacked by grave birds, that would be my guess, but don't see any, so maybe not. Uh, I don't see any items on... Oh, there absolutely is. Can we get to the other roof from here? I think that's a little bit too far. No, no, no we, can, we can totally make it. We just can't make it all the way up, but we can definitely make it to the side, and more pertinently, we can make it back. So I'm going to grab whatever this is going to be first. More silver horn tenders. And, uh, yeah, nothing. Okay. What was that? Okay, so we're going to explore it this way around now. Um, may as well drop down and get back up. Easily enough. 
So, yeah, we can get there. But let's first check around here. Don't think there's anything here, but you never know. Okay. Not indeed. Alrighty then. Somber Smithing Stone 4. Okay. Well. That is everything to be found here. I do like that the game still drops the lower level stones. Even at higher levels. Where, something's dying somewhere. We have a summoning stake here. And multiple... Okay, that's our site of grace. Then we can go up to whatever that is. I do not know what that is. You have a sword, and there's a bird up there. Let's pick off the birds first. You have horns, too. You look pretty cool, actually. Okay. So, of all the things I was expecting the birds to do, that was not on the list. But I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. They are grave birds, after all, so likely related to the death birds. Uh, a solid attempt... And now you are coming at me. So now we have to actually fight one of these on foot, which is a bit harder. I have a feeling I'm actually going to die. Can't move. Okay, oh god, we have a... Uh, I'm, going, I'm going in. Oh my lord. And our, our buddy's here. Okay, well, we can always fight him down here. Away from the bird. Okay, so you have two swords. And a really cool-looking helmet. Oh, my lord. Oh, my god. Ugh, I am still alive somehow. I predict death. I am very much on the defensive here. Let's flash up again and dodge that. That's a delayed attack. <laughs> okay. Panic roll. All right. Gotta get some hits in somehow. Otherwise, we're never getting through this. You have fucking cool armor, and I want it. Okay. Nice bleed. You can bleed. Hoi! Heal, 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 heal. Whoa. Oh my god! Okay, what a rough enemy. <laughs> Very cool, though. Okay. We're doing okay. We've. No! You were supposed to die! Okay. You died. Wow. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool. Where's the bird? This is concerning. Hi. Okay. So that comes out real fast. This isn't some slow, you know, bitch ass death rancor. <laughs> okay. Uh the legacy dungeon has gotten significantly more challenging. <laughs> First part with the scorpions and the shadows, pretty easy. Now less so. Oh. You just do that. From here. Oh, it's coming up from the ground. What is causing it? You are. Alright. So, shadows with staffs die first. So, uh, that is an obvious direction. Rooftops again are an obvious direction. We have ourselves another grave bird somewhere. I'm pretty sure I saw another one. Don't currently know where it is, but that doesn't mean it's not there. Hi, you're not dead. Or did you emerge from the corpse? No, you must have just been sat right next to it. But curious that you're looking at this corpse. Both of you must have. Theory for these guys actually just being the dead in general intensifies. Man, we got that direction. Gonna thoroughly cover this area first before we head down any side pathway, so. So, spirals, right? I mean, we saw the spiral pillars already before. It means something. Just don't know what yet. I guess the, the horns, right? It's just a symbolic. And 
this. Whatever that is. It seems to just be drawing in the light. Or perhaps those are the curtains still? I really don't know. We have the way down to... Oh. To where I was? Is this? Yeah, must have been. Okay. Let's go left first. Never mind. Let's not go left. Golden water. Kind of brownish golden. Nice try, you had me, but you missed for some reason. You, like, you don't even get an E for effort. So, we got two more of these giant birds. And we got one shadow person over there. I'm gonna go the other way. So that looks like a proper direction we can go. I'm gonna explore down the full right path. I, I want to try and clear the, uh, the side paths first, I think. Now, I don't know what this is leading to. This could be a boss fight. I'm clicking here. I don't... No. It's just a... An area. Like a Those grove. Of the grace of gold oh. Shall all meet death. oh, yeah? In the embrace of Mesmer's flame. Been invaded by Knight Quiline. Okay, he's coming. Do you have a fucking page boy haircut? He has a page boy haircut. My, uh... Desire to show disrespect to him has just increased significantly. Especially after he just killed me. It's very rude. Do I have to go through... God. I think I can avoid him, actually. And the bird. We just sneak past. At least, that's really what I'm hoping. We don't need to engage over there. We do need to kill the uh, the gold channeler, the horn channeler. Okay. Sneaky like yeah, these guys are attacking. It's following me. Good to know. I don't know if I want to meet death in the embrace of Mesmer's flame, but, you know, you do you. I have some fucking Scarlet Rot. Did that do anything? Not really. Here, have another one. I missed. And I'm gonna die. What is that weapon you are carrying? Okay. Okay! Interesting. I'd like it. A moment to, uh... Okay, he does stagger. I mean, he, he does have a page boy haircut. I would assume he staggers. I still took damage from that. Okay, he heals, I heal. Oh, God! He didn't take anything from that. And just... Okay. I feel like I should have hit him there. Maybe, maybe not a stagger, because that seems like an Ash of War. That is a very cool looking weapon. I kind of want it. I don't know if that's going to be uh, suitable for my build. Seems like it's probably more of a, a Dex Faith type of thing, but would have suited the Inheritor. Wait for this guy to path? Path? Pass? Whatever you say, Ash. Sneaky, sneaky. Let's, let's get the sneaky sneaky up here. Heal him that way. Maybe I should switch to uh, the knives. Oh, you're a gold eye. You're gonna give me runes. Thankfully, we'll be able to easily get our runes back with this guy, and I'm pretty confident we can take him. I just need to not die. Really. Kind of all that's required here is not dying. Yeah. In the embrace of Mesmer's flame. 
All right. Uh, hold on. I, I have a better idea, actually. And the better idea is flies. Okay. The fly idea was, was decent. But he's, uh, he's a little bit too aggressive for that to be a, uh... And now we have our, our lovely porch out, which is definitely not what we need. Alright, here we go. Get a heal. Should have crapped up also. I have, like, a million crabs. Alright, dodging into him seems to work. Never mind. Okay, you have a surprisingly good ability to cover your blind spots, so maybe I need to dodge to the side. God damn it. Yeah, side dodging seems to be the best bet. Or away dodging with certain things. Okay, so that fireball. I don't even think I hit him. God, getting repeatedly killed by the guy in the page boy haircut is just... It's filling me with despair. The likes of which you cannot possibly fathom. Alright, let's sneak around. Goodbye. It is unfortunate that I have to kill these guys every time, but, you know, that's on them. Okay. It's crab time. Let's use some volcano pots. Maybe we can just volcano pot this jerk. That was... Those strips of the grace of gold shall all meet death. In the embrace of Mesmer's flame. Just killing them in case they're a problem. I don't know if they are, but I'd rather not find out. Alright, here. So, evidently that's not very effective. Damn, he comes out fast with that. Bro! Calm down. Okay, I need to also, like... Dodge in the correct direction. Come on, hit him. I mean, so that was effective, to be sure. It does stagger him just enough. Just need to actually get the opportunity to hit him. Oh yeah. Goodbye. Graceless heathen. Yeah. Thou shalt not evade the flame of me. Yeah. Fucking page boys. <laughs> uh, Crusade Insignia. A talisman depicting a raised spear on a backdrop of flames in remembrance of the lives lost in the Sacred Crusade led by Mesmer. Raises attack power after defeating an enemy. The warriors who fought in the Crusade set aside both honor and mercy to wantonly impale and scorch those they deemed impure, aka the Horn Scent. Those who felt invigorated by each cry of death were the same men who were certain of the sanctity of the campaign. Yeah, madness in a sense of uh, false purpose. Ah, it's these things breaking. That's the noise I keep hearing. So we can definitely go up here. By definitely, I mean probably. And we are rewarded with ten arrows. Truly remarkable. So, I want to quickly have a look. These are... They're not... There might be branches, but they could also just be horns. I don't know. I mean, it looks like the same stuff that that tree's made out of, which, you know, one might assume to be wood. But you never know in Elden Ring. Probably, like, horn. Or, I don't know, woodified blood. All right. I slaughtered them all just so that I could see if it would restore a flask charge, but I kind of have the feeling that that doesn't happen in uh, Legacy Dungeons. All right, Shriek of Sorrow. The Shriek of Sorrow skill, utilized by the downtrodden, screen causing nearby enemies to flinch while also recalling deep-seated resentment, boosting attack power based on the amount of HP remaining. The lower the HP, the greater 
effect. Okay, that's cool. It's very cool. Now, uh, none of these doors look usable. This is a shame. So then this is probably a dead end, but that's fine, because that is going to narrow down the directions that we can possibly go in. Which is A-OK. -okay. Hold on. I have an idea. And I don't like it. Okay, the idea is becoming less valid. The more I think about it, yeah, no, never mind. I was thinking we can maybe platform across this uh, ledge, this uh, broken wall, to get to those rooftops over there, but it seems like that's not a possibility. I'll quickly look around this side to see if there's anything at all. And then I guess we leave, right? Nothing more here. Can't go in that way, that would be the direction I would assume we could go in, but it does kind of look like a dead end. So, off we go. Do you have anything to say, Mr. Tree? Okay, I wanted to see if we could attack the tree and it would trigger like a purse rotted horn tree fight or something. Okay, back up we go. Um,. We could try and take out this knight again. I'm just a little bit concerned about the uh, the great bird up there. Oh, hi. You saw me, didn't you? It sure does seem that way. Maybe he just really hates the masonry. But I kind of am getting the suspicion that he saw me. Um... But you seem to have trouble getting up here, so I think we can make use of that by throwing a volcano pot at you. Is this gonna work? Sure is. How much damage does it do? Less than I would like. What about one of these? Here, I have a giant fire. Okay, that did something. You want you want Scarlet Rot? Oh yeah, you you didn't like that. Let's give him another volcano pot. This is how you honorably defeat enemies. Look at all this damage we're doing. Oh, he's gonna hit me with that, isn't he? It's not my fault you can't jump. Right, we'll throw another one of these. I can make tons of them if need be. Alright, and that should probably do it. I would like to do some item crafting right now in the middle of combat. That would be really funny. Alright, goodbye. Truly an honorable battle. Let me, uh, let me bow to him. Well fought, good sir. Uh, so there's th these walls, and then there's that ledge. And, I mean, secrets are secrets, and this looks like it's going to lead to secrets. So we're going to go this way and find out. Oh, God, don't notice me. And yet, there's nothing. Hmm. That makes me sad. Well, let's kill these two again. go. This will loop back around. So, uh, let's craft some pots. Let's try out some of these, uh, giant ones. Don't make those. It's the giant's flame pot. I don't have, actually, I've got tons of that stuff. Make one, huh? All right. Well, let's equip one. Still two more volcano pots. Let's take uh, Perfumer Tricia off for a moment. We'll just use the uh, the Assault Perfumer. That's his name. And we got the uh, the fly pots. And there's that direction which we already looked at. And decided that we couldn't go through. So I guess this is the way. He hit me that time. All right. Well, I knew there was another one, or I knew there was going to be something. Okay, we got really lucky with that. Less lucky with those two swings, but that was less of luck than more my problem. All right. We need stones. Uh, okay, we got some flies. Come on. Yeah, there we go. How dare you hit me through the bars? 
Good. Now we only have to deal with one of them when we go that way. Okay. Uh, is this gonna knock me off? No. Oh, shit. Well. If you had loot, it's gone forever. String! Oh my god. We have no idea how hard that is to find. So let's head in here. I'm going to activate my lantern. Yeah. Solid. Very solid. Well, we have a, uh, a ladder. First, I would like to dive head first into the walls, though, just to be sure. I highly recommend doing this type of stuff in real life, too. You never know what you might uncover when diving head first into walls. Storeroom key. Doesn't sound like a, a cellar key. Opens the door to the storeroom on the second floor of Bellarat, the tower settlement. So that sounds more like a higher up key than a lower down key. If we don't find another key that seems more suitable, we will try this on the uh, the locked door. Hi. Right. Okay. Up here. Yeah, right up through there. All right. This is gonna go down. I'll grab this item. Three throwing daggers. Just gonna scan around to see if we missed anything. I don't see any uh, telltale glint of loot that we have missed, so I'm gonna assume we didn't. Unless, of course, you guys uh, tell me. Again, uh, if I do miss something and you want to tell me that I missed something, because it's important, uh, feel free to tell me the a vague location of where it is, but do not tell me what it is. Oh, you're scuttling. Or creaking. I'm hoping it's creaking. Because if it's scuttling, we know what that's going to be. Alright, what the hell is that noise? Oh no. It was scuttling. <sighs> At least they're coming single file. I lied. They're no longer coming single file. Here. Immediately craft the second one. These are incredibly handy against these. Uh, there's more of them. To be sure, there are more of them. And we have ourselves a lift that will go somewhere. Let's remember that in our uh, our thought brain and proceed onwards into whatever scorpion-related trap is waiting for us down here. I'm sure it's going to happen. Surprised it hasn't already happened yet. This is very, very patient of Miyazaki. Nice. So... Oh, yeah. Flies, huh? So we could drop down to there, but there's no coming back from that. So I'm not going to do that. We're going to head in here first. Always go the way that you... Uh, no. The big ones hang, too? Why? Why are you like this, Miyazaki? You get poisoned? Yes. As a matter of fact, you do. Can you get through here? Because if you can't get through here... Then I see no reason to go through there. And this is what we have Reduvia for. Oh, you cheeky devil. All right, fine. I know, riveting gameplay. But I'm being cautious. All right, that, that should ought to do it. Okay, he dropped something. Black canal is another one. Again with poison. Alright, that's quite a bit. Ow! See, I don't feel so bad. The 
They do have a ranged attack. They can fight back. There's one directly above me, isn't there? Like there, there would be. He would do that. Okay. But imagine if you just walked into this room without bone bow. Okay, I do like bows. I'm doing a bit of an archer build. I could have looked in the recent inventory. So this is within the realm of possibility for us to use. A crude short bow fashioned from sickly bone. A medium for spirit calling. And a product of the ancient hexing arts of the tower. Rancor shot. Imbue arrows with vengeful spirits before firing off a barrage. Imbued arrows chase down foes as they cut through the air. That's really cool. Doesn't scale with arcane. And I reckon we can't infuse it. But that's a very cool ability, and I kind of want to try it. So is there anything else here? I'm assuming not. Lots of little dead ends, but that's fine. Actually, hold on. We can definitely go up. Question is, how far? Not, not very far at all. All right. Yeah, I really feel um, more of a Faramazula vibe to this architecture than than uh, the Eternal Cities. But realistically, it could be either. So there's the lift. I'm gonna take the lift before we drop down to uh, the the fly place. Maybe we can even get down to the fly place like this. Of course, checking for uh, hidden alcoves. Doesn't seem like there are any. Okay, uh, a room without a scorpion hanging from the ceiling. And this is going to be a... Uh... Is that big old door that leads right back to the front? I'm thinking it might be. Yes, sure is. So that's the uh, the set of grace that we've already been to. That's really cool. All right, I'm not gonna rest. I'm gonna keep going. Let's head back up. And then I guess we drop down into the fly place. I don't know if that's the the correct way. I mean, there is no correct way to do anything in these games, but I don't know if that's the the main pathway. But there do seem to be ways down. God, this looks hideous, and it's yellow. There's a lot of them down here. They're not particularly hard. We could also go this way. Yeah, let's actually do this first. Because again, there's no coming back from that. And I know not to range battle these fucking things, so we're gonna just try and stagger them down. Because they go down pretty easily in melee. Oh, hi. You have friends. Okay. Any more? Flight pinions? Four of them? Very nice. We'd like some grave bird feathers or something interesting. Like grave bird arrows, rancor arrows. We can already do that. It's probably just with the uh, one ash of war. Hi, hi! I'm fucking shocked that I dodged all of that. You stagger really easily, at least to this weapon, and I'm very thankful for that. Uh, I'm gonna heal. These guys can do quite a lot of damage. Uh, he had to drop something. Oh man, and I I want to know what. But also, it's floating in the air, so I don't think we're ever getting that item. <laughs> kill, 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 kill. Thank you. What did you drop? Revered Spirit Ash this time. Okay, so they can drop either or. And, uh... Not sure if we can come back from that. So let's go this way first. God, this area is so cool. Oh. Not again. Uh, yeah, look. Would you like some Scarlet Rot? Here, have some more. I don't want to die. I want to live. You have a bigger sword. 
feasibly it should be easier to dodge. It is actually a little easier to dodge. It just has more reach, which is concerning. Oh, God. All right, well, that at least did something. Okay, now it's more reach than expected. And I can roll in time. This is why I don't fight these fairly. How far back do I have to go? Uh, it's actually probably better if I take the lift up. Right? So we'll go to here. And go in through the big old open door now. Up the lift, across the roofs. Fight the grave birds, which is risky. Might be losing my runes here. I had a whole lot of them. I probably should have sat down and leveled up. But, uh... You know what they say about overconfidence. There's nothing beneath, right? No. Okay. I always gotta check to see if it's a double elevator. Sigurd would be uh, would be proud. All right. So, uh, it was this way? Yes. Correct. You first. Don't give them the chance. And then they go down quite easily. So, you drop a thing. Next one. Look at that in just a sec. Alright. Just smithing stones. Great many smithing stones. To be sure. Alright, as long as we don't die to these birds, we should be okay. Alright, that one's coming first. Okay. They seem to have, uh, wonky hitboxes for once in our favor. Because I feel like that slash should have clipped me. No, you can go down there. That's fine. I'm assuming you can get back up, because you're a bird, but... And again, flying enemies. At the very least, he's gonna make obnoxious noises. Uh, so you're still there. I don't think there's a reason to kill you again. Right, we got our runes. That's nice. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Alright, black fireflies here. And there's gonna be that guy. How do I fight him in the least fair way possible? I don't think there's gonna be a least fair way possible. I think I actually just have to deal with it. Which really upsets me. I don't want to have to, like, fight somebody fairly. That is the wrong arrow, and it's too late. You knocked me off the side. Where am I? Okay, I'm over here now. It's actually okay. You're gonna come at me. I'm gonna shoot you with a poisoned arrow. Ugh. Well, at least my runes are closer by. This guy is a menace. I think I just need to fight him properly. Focus, you know, quit trying to kill him with uh, ranged bullshit. Where am I going? Where do I double double knife him? That was gonna open from the side. Okay, I wanted to check and see if that was the uh, the lock actually. Uh, so in through here. That's that is it. So, I need to send this spiral lift down after I uh, get up there. Just in case something happens. Again. So, we could crab up. He probably does physical damage. And then I think we can throw a, uh, a thing at him. Some sort of object. Maybe a swarm pot. A fly pot. One of the big, one of the big ones. Maybe I should save that for a boss, but... I don't know. This guy's giving me more trouble than some of the bosses. <laughs> Alright. Let's take the bird out. Next. Fantastic. Okay, go over here. You're gonna attack me from there. Yep, come on now. 
Don't shoot rankers at me, just normal attacks. There you go. Alright, we actually killed him this time. And I will ignore that dude. Oh, we're getting a... Uh... Oh, really? Where are you hitting me from? There. I didn't even see you. Die. Okay. Hefty fire pot also, also does some work. Alright, whatever. Or rock pots. Okay. Okay. With one of these. That's way too fast. There we go. That, that did some work. Oh my god! Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, so that's an explosion. And that's charged, and I was just out of range, thankfully. I need, I think, my knives. I'm not staggering him. So let's switch to the to the knife here. This is probably going to be better, but I also need to heal. Which I would like to do. Stop dying. And uh, we're out of crab. God. His attack chains are wild. You know what he reminds me of? Bloody omens. The crazy kicks and chained attacks, and uh, if you remember from the uh, the base game playthrough, the regular omens with the cleavers, the ones with the axes a little bit less so, but the cleaver armed omens gave me no end of trouble. <laughs> I forgot to do this. I even talked like. Don't forget to send it back down. And then I was like, nah. And me back up. Do it right this time. Silly bird antics. Yeah, get over here. I'm not going over there. So, this jerk with the uh, light spiral. <laughs> I guess if we go up here, we can safely ignore him. Alright. I think I just need to fight him. I will throw some flies at him first, though. Should be enough. Damn it. Okay. I mean, that did something. Okay. Alright. dodge that somehow. Didn't dodge those. He has such reach. I'm crouching now, White. Yeah. I always roll early on, on one or the last one or just something. Like some of it I can I can kinda get, but okay. I I, I, I traded there and that's okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Damn it! Hold the hell! Why did that not hit him? All right, it's fine. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Ugh. Never again, please. Side of grace. Shortcut back. Anything to stop me from having to go through him or another one of his kind. Big boy over there. Kill big boy first. 
I'm just a bit concerned that he's got friends that I can't see yet. No. Thankfully. Again, people ending up in strange poses over ledges. We'll never know. It's a mystery. So, down, huh? Down will lead to a room. Scorpion? Paranoid. Alright, you are uh, gonna get... Hi. Should have seen that coming. No! Not like this! Switch to the goddamn cleaver. I mean, the, the greatsword. And let me go out. Yes. I need a little bit of room to fight. Yep. Panic roll. That was a panic-worthy moment. All right. You, I can deal with by yourself. And then I will go and deal with your friend. That's what I was afraid of happening elsewhere. Every time I was ready for it, it didn't happen. And then the time I wasn't ready for it, it did happen. All right. So, uh, this is... Something. I don't know what. But there's a ladder. It goes down. Uh, I'm going. Flies. I'm glad I didn't attack, because I thought that was an NPC, but thankfully it wasn't. <laughs> it just didn't immediately attack me, so I thought, are you a fly NPC? Broken rune. Alright, we can walk in this stuff. It's very nice of the game. Break these, just to make sure there's nothing in them. And then we are in the fly area. The looks of it. Sure sounds like it. Okay. Yeah, give me give me those fly molds. Damn it. Silver horn tenders. I need fly molds, and I need a lot of them. Hi. You were the two that I wanted to get rid of. Are you both dead? Yes. Okay. And you? Ow! Poison! Makes sense. Okay. Alright, go over here. What was that? Oh, you leave a poison cloud. You vomited up a cloud over yourself. That's clever. And you drop two fly molds. Fantastic. We need those to make the swarm bots, the big ones. Okay, pull away. Okay, great. Get him. Alright. Red plush mushrooms. Tried a lot of them. Expansion boluses to stop bleeding. And a glass shards, one glass shard, and four fly molds. All right. Aside from that, there doesn't seem much reason to come here, aside from getting some uh, some fly molds. Which, to be fair, it's uh ah, I need flame of or ember of mesmer. No, that's for the furnace pot. Uh, I need the sanguine amaryllis, not just fly mold. Well, we'll make one more, and then I will make two of these. By two, I mean one. And then we can rise again. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere else to... Or anything else to do in here. Right? I'm, I'm gonna look around just to be sure. See if there's any wall that looks a bit suspicious. Doesn't appear so. So, let's, uh, let's get out of here. And this thing didn't open. No, it doesn't even have a, uh, a gate or a grate. Okay. Then up we shall go. Could I have taken the other route with the stairs? Yes, I could have. But we don't do that kind of thing here. All right. Let's bend to Urban Chapel. It's the time of this uh, recording at here. We're at an hour and 19. I kind of feel like continuing, though, so I hope you guys don't mind a longer recording. Generally, from what I understand, 
from comments on my episodes of various Let's Plays is that you guys don't mind, so let's proceed onwards. It's, uh, yeah, guys, if you're uh, enjoying this series, do drop it a like. It, uh, unfortunately, it didn't get nearly any of the traction that I hoped it would. It's a uh, very small uh, viewers, or very small amount of viewers, which uh, is very unfortunate, but it's okay. Don't worry, I'm not going to stop playing this, which is one of my favorite games ever, after all. So, I will be playing it, and I will be doing it on the channel. I, I reckon it might turn into like a, a sleeper thing where it, the uh, amount of views gets better over time. I mean, it always does, but for my base Elden Ring game playthrough, it, uh, it got significantly better after, uh, over time. Like, it, it also didn't do super well, but it didn't do this badly, so... Uh, yeah, so it's a bit unfortunate. My, my channel's in the, uh, the pits of hell right now, in terms of... Uh, growth. But uh, that's that's sometimes how it goes. You go through the pits and you get the spikes of growth and ride the uh, the growth spike for a little bit and then it trickles away. I mean, I could make content that would create more spikes. Uh, it's this place, but from above. Thankfully, I don't have to deal with them. Oh god, but I just, I hate them. I hate them. Oh, we hates them, precious. Look up. Don't look down. There could be more. If there's two, there could be more. We are rising more? Oh, it's one of you! Hello. Interesting. Okay, so they kind of stagger, so that's nice. The Cursed Sword is decent against them when, I, when it hits them. Please don't die here. I mean, you can die here, but not me. I would prefer not to. That's an attack. Okay. Is that worth it? No, not really. Is this worth it? Probably also not. I think I'm just... Yeah, this is not going well. Alright, uh, crab up, crab up. I'm safe. I'm not safe. I am somewhat safe. I am incredibly lucky. My luck has run out. Alright, I don't know what I was doing there, but it was weird. Now, please die. Thank you. Oh my lord. And I'm out of flask. Oh no. Uh, well, we have a solution. And that solution, let me first set it up. Uh, we, of course, have heals. Which, you know, maybe I'll just do that. Cost me a lot, but... It's not the worst idea in the world. And then, we do have enough to cast Flame Cleanse Me. Which, there are a couple of items. Oh, a Golden Horn Tender. It's the, uh, the same. Same item description. I didn't even see that that was a different item. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got something that can heal me. We need to look in tools and consumables. So, a raw meat dumpling. The problem is, is, I think... I don't need to heal that much. I could throw down a warming stone, but then I need to stand there for a while. Or I just chug an FP flask and do one more heal. And, uh, call it even there. Alright. Continuing on, I have no flasks. I'm praying for a sight of grace. Or a shortcut. Instead, we continue to rise closer to the, the shadowy building. Oh! <laughs> 357,000 runes. Just a few. Let's... First off, get our blessings, because we have a revered spirit ash blessing. We can do twice, apparently. And let's level up. We have 30 endurance now, which is pretty solid. We get more arcane or more dex. Let's actually get more dex. Dex, there's more things that scale with dex than arcane, which will give me more opportunity to try weapons in this playthrough. Look at these spiral towers all over the place. God, this looks awesome. So, what's this going to be? We have a summon here. Who are you? Redmane Freya. Absolutely. Like I said, I'm going to do this type of stuff because she's one of the characters that we encountered. So, we're going to summon her. And then we're going to see what this boss is. I'm assuming this is a, uh, a main boss. 
So you're coming along? We did rest, right? Sure hope so. Ah, this is the, the dancing, uh... The dancing lion dragon. O oh, horn-decked beast from higher sphere delivered. Take root inside the tower sculpted keepers. And perched within, we beg of thee, rise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you just call Marika a strumpet? That's a sick sounding roar. Yes, this is like at least two guys in a lion suit. And I don't care. I think that's awesome. Let's summon the perfumer here. And let's give this guy a uh, good go. Okay, so you can shoot... This looks like beast magic. Wow. Yeah, he's tough. He's admittedly also tougher because we have a summon. I can't see shit. Okay, I'm gonna go over here now. Kneel up. And I'm gonna crab up while I have room to maneuver. Uh, so I can try and see if this guy gets poisoned. Oh lord, he's coming. Oh lord, he's coming. Ha ha ha! Alright, now he's leaving me alone. Which is very nice of him. You get poisoned. There's two of these. Most things... Okay, let's give him another one. Oh, the music! Let's get a little closer. He, he's definitely poisoned. Alright, fantastic. So, I think we're going to be getting in real close here, and I don't think he's going to stagger, so... Not much sense in using Morgoths. Oh, my lord. We can't also get him some uh, Scarlet Rot. Okay, we're almost dead. <laughs> this is fucking cool. The music is insane. What are you doing? This is either really bad that I'm capitalizing or really good. I think it was good. <laughs> oh my god, this is such a cool looking fight. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> the Divine Beast Dancing Lion. Okay, you can kind of see where the lightning's landing. That's that's quite nice. <laughs> I don't even have him to half health yet. <laughs> uh, let's also... Uh, okay, that looks dangerous. Chug a, uh, a flask here. He switches elements! Now we have a... Oh, this is so cool. So this would be really good for that, uh, that talisman that we, we found. Not the one this episode, but the one last episode. Holy crap. This is so cool. Oh boy. Frostbite. Okay, uh, I'm waiting for his next shift. Like, fire next or what? Because we first had him doing uh, the, the earth stuff. Okay, he's, he's switching. What is it now? Wind. Holy shit. So wind is, is just physical damage. Presumably. I can't see anything. Heal. It's fine. Uh, it's okay. Net, net, net positive health. I don't know if you bleed, but we'll find out at some point. Down to, uh, below half. Back to frost. Okay, no fire. Then I, I wonder if they, he just doesn't do fire. That's certainly possible. God damn. Okay, Red Lane Freya is almost down. And we'll have a uh, we'll have to deal with him ourselves. The the daggers are too short. I find it that I can't hit him half the time. So Morgoth's curse sword it is. Yeah, I can definitely more reliably get hits in, and I'm dead. All right. Wow. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we don't need this talisman. The the scorpion bow I will use, but I'm just going to use it to uh, deliver some hits there. Uh, what could I put on? I think I'm going to put on the vastly boost physical damage negation. Oh, non-physical. That's going to be very handy, actually. Uh, raises attack power with successive attacks. I'm not going to get the chance of, to do that. So, what I will take instead is that new one. The ailment talisman that we got from the fly village. This is the one that's going to increase our resistance to a um, an ailment as we take damage from that ailment. Which I think is going to be really cool. So, we're going to summon again, just because it was cool. Red main Freya, she's here. It'll make it feel like that we're actually questing together, in a way. I'm going to try and get my runes. I don't care all that much if we don't, but... He's coming. Okay. On the way now, grab the runes, and I'll summon our perfumer friend. He did he did well. Or at least he, he lived long. I don't know how much damage he did, but it's okay. He doesn't need to do damage. He's just there to make it look cool. Ow. I should probably serpent bow him. Let's do that. I think he's... yeah, our perfumer is just, like, chilling out here. Okay. Uh, actually, switch to, switch to this. Maybe we can send some flies over his way. I have no idea if that actually works. Okay, he's coming. No, he's not. Like, his attacks aren't so hard to dodge. Like, I'll still get hit by them, but the telegraphing and the timing of them is, is pretty nice that at least I can flow through it fairly easily. So once he starts doing the cold thing, then he starts throwing stuff all over the place. Alright, let's actually curse the blade and... Oh, wow. I did something. Okay, lightning inbound. The lightning phase I didn't find to be too bad, but we'll see. Maybe I regret my overconfidence. Fucking, like... Producing that shit at us? Oh man, it's so cool. Here, have some first blood. Now I regret everything. I'm almost dead. I'm likely to be dead in under a second. Okay, I'm somehow still alive. Alright. Heal! I'm glad I healed. Oh, we were lucky that that stopped where it did. <laughs> okay. Alright, wind it is. The wind phase was alright. Is so fucking cool looking. Oh man. Alright. Here. Have some. Yeah, it did something. Have some more. Alright. It, it's just. It's so fast. I, I don't. He's shooting tornadoes at us. Tornadoes, lightning storms, okay, this is the phase that gave me the most trouble because it creates massive, like, area denial. But... Okay, I think I hit him. I have no idea. I think I just got hit. Ow! I am alive! Stay alive! Alright, physic. And one more heal. Alright, Red Main Freya is down. Okay. Maybe we can avoid that. He switched real fast. Okay, we need to, like, be very cautious here. Oh my god. It's just... And the music! It's so good! I'm out of FP and I'm trying to do my Ash of War. I have literally no idea what's happening anymore. I need to flask up that way and then flask up with the FP as well. Alright, we're looking okay. Depraved Perfumer Carmon is, at the very least, tanking for me like an absolute champ. Alright, I'm just gonna avoid him now. Yeah, there's nowhere to run from that. <laughs> okay, He's, he starts switching just really quickly. Alright, I hate that one. Oh boy, 
I am narrowly out of range. That's nice. We have we've got a poison on him. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't know how many flasks I have left. Presumably not many. So let's be careful here. I can't. I just can't get close to him. Run. Nope. I'm out. I am probably dead. I have the sneaking suspicion that I'm about to die. I could try and chug a, uh... Nah, that ain't gonna work. I would need him to take... Damn it, I need, I need, I need it, I need it, I need it, I can't see what's happening. Use it! Okay, it worked. Holy crap. Never mind, it didn't matter. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna need a raw meat dumpling. Would Latena be any good here? I think it's a little bit too mobile for Latena. Um, so I, I could switch to the other perfumer or the the Night Maiden and Swordstress. Two Nox puppets? Nah, I'll switch to uh, Tricia here. Man, all right, Red Mane Freya, let's go again. We have one rot pot left. I'm going to have this be ready here. And I probably should have... I'm going to rest and actually switch up my... No, I can't rest while I've summoned. Okay. I wanted to give myself a couple of extra abilities. Or uh, regular flasks. Alright, we have our, our heal here. That's, that's nice. Alright, I wanted to I wanted to summon, but I'll consider myself lucky that I avoided that. Can I lock on? Thanks. Um here, have some flies. Let's actually use our FP. Keep at a distance for now. Yikes! I'm gonna die. Oh, I am. <laughs> chomp, chomp. Oh, that's a gnarly animation. Okay. I don't care so much about my runes. I'll get them if I can. So you, you basically have to instantly move if you want to... Uh... Okay, Tristan's already almost dead. Uh, I don't even think I have runes anymore. No, I did grab them last time. Alright. Um, can I heal? So maybe Trisha is not the best summon for this fight. Okay. Got him, uh... Last cup. Alright. More flies, maybe? I don't know. Should probably also crab up. I am lucky. Just, just heal. I knew I was going to take a hit, but I wasn't confident that I would be able to dodge it in time. I have a volcano pot. Missed. Another one. Gotta get rid of these anyways. Gotta make new ones. Alright, and uh, empty fly pot. Would you like some? Would you like some flies? It triggered a bleed. And has put it into its elemental phase. Okay. Okay, Trisha's gone. Most unfortunate. Yikes. That, I think we can jump over. That would be my guess. I... I okay. Okay. Thankful I didn't take damage from being on the ground there. <laughs> she just got eaten! I can't damage it while it's doing that. Oh, that's, uh... Okay, that's a disadvantage of bringing in a uh, summon. Alright, cold face. A little bit more rough. We can just run. The bleeds work. Let's 
just don't know how well they work. I didn't, like, barely avoid that. I was in the middle of shooting, so it makes sense, okay? Okay with this face. Alright, it's poisoned again. I think I basically just have to engage it. Don't get eaten, thank you. Okay. Alright, alright. Heal. It's you versus me. I, I can't see very well. All right, lightning. Okay. That was fast. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that's this, huh? Ah, I couldn't see where it was because it was right above me. All right. So let's actually dodge this attack first. Put up a. Uh... Oh, now you're not using it. <laughs> okay. I also want to find my runes. There they are. Don't have Finley out. I would like to get Finley out. Yeah. Can you distract her for just a, a second? Okay. I will consider myself semi-fortunate. To only get hit by that a little bit. All right. And then we switch to the Serpent Arrows, because we definitely want to get this thing uh, hit by those a little. Poisoned? That should do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool looking when it does that. Alright, we are out of uh, Estus. Out of FP, I should say. I should have done the heal first. Alright. Okay, run over here. Where are my runes? And now you're doing this. So it does seem to have certain triggers. Okay, I don't know where my runes are and I can't see them because he's currently in the way. There they are. I'm running. Finley's already that damaged. I feel like maybe the, the perfumer is the better option. Come on. Okay. We got it poisoned, at the very least. Let's get in there and, uh, some more Nubia. That was effective, actually. <laughs> He's been eaten. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's the knives again. Okay. Uh. I. No. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could roll into that. So the bleeds are good. Alright, lightning it is. Nope, 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 don't get hit by that. Alright, heal. Desperate. Crap. Don't, uh, don't take too much damage here. Alright. Ah! Bad! Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, we lived. Somehow. You're covered in oil. Here, have a giant fire pot. Oh yeah. You didn't do as much as I would have liked. But it did something. And we're looking better than we have before. So I'm going to keep my distance. I've tried to get close to this thing. But it has so much ground area denial. Like that. In all of its forms. I think I was just eaten. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Damn it. Huh, oh, okay. Absolute brutality, this fight. <laughs> I wonder where... You know what? I'm going to try and not summon Freya this time. We're just going to go in without her. 
and see if that drastically decreases its health. Uh, I'm not sure if, like, she actually makes the game easier or harder. So if I move here, it doesn't do its thing. Then I can summon. Alright. Good enough. I am very close to death. Can I heal before I die? Yes. All right now, can I grab my uh, runes there? All right, it is taking a lot more damage. I pressed roll, but apparently I didn't. I have to beat that. Okay, and let's switch to uh, the crab here. Oh, I already used crab, but apparently. We got poisoned. Let's try and get in on it with this. So you can also just run away from that. Or out of range. Okay, we dealt it a very good bleed. Now let's not die. Okay, pull away. Half space. Excellent, good heal. Okay, I'm gonna do that just to be extra cautious here. Wind phase, I'm not overly concerned about. We're doing much better without the summon, amusingly. Not sure if it's just luck or the summon actually just... I am very fortunate I am still alive. It's almost dead. I would really like to not die right now. Okay, and it's gone. All right, finally got rid of it. Holy crap. Remembrance of the Dancing Lion. Woo! Divine Beast Head. That's a helmet. Let's have a look at that. Uh, we can do that in the recent items. And, of course, the Remembrance of the Dancing Lion. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great number or a great bounty of runes. When the Impaler's army assailed the tower, the ritual of the Lion Dance was turned towards martial ends. Its divinity, its fury, its light-footed beauty. So... Yeah, Mesmer the Impaler attacked the city of the Hornscent, who are obviously associated with this Lion Dance. And the Lion Dancers basically fought against Mesmer's army. We saw some of them impaled on spikes in the uh, trailer. So this may have been the last one. We just killed them. I, I kind of wish we could ally with them instead. But I guess they're just hostile to everyone at this point. Because we're associated with Queen Marika, and Mesmer is, was sent by Queen Marika, presumably. So they just view us as an enemy, and there's nothing we can do about it, which is uh, fair. Uh, so, yeah, very cool. I'm very interested to see what we can get out of that. And then the head. Ritual headwear in the form of a divine beast's head, used to perform the lion dance, worn by the very finest of the sculpted keepers. Alas, it no longer responds to the old woman's earnest prayer. Divine invocation heightens intensity... Hi Divine Invocation heightens the intensity of the storm alongside strength and dexterity, but reduces the restorative effect of drinking from a flask of sacred tears. Interesting. Focus is also troubled by wearing this headgear. Oh, it, let's at least look at it. I'm not gonna wear it. As my headgear, I'm usually... Yeah, it's a, it's a bit silly. <laughs> Man. Okay, uh... So cool, though. What an awesome fight. So, there's also the connection between the Divine Beasts and um, Godfrey. Because he wore a lion's head. Sirach. Which also had divine properties. So, I am suspecting that he drew that from here. So, Godfrey we know as Huara Lu from the Badlands. Um, but I must wonder if he ventured to this place. To the, uh, the Land of Shadow. So let's actually... I can use the just the level. Why the hell not? Uh, we're going to head to the uh, the round table, which I will warn you is not in a good state. Because, again, this is my character, the old character, the Inheritor. So um, I can't leave. Um, Sights of Grace. Yeah, okay. So we can we can just go back like that. 
How do I get back to the round table? I'd like to get back to the round table. There we go. Table of Lost Grace. Let's go back and see what we can get from the Remembrance, and then I will end the episode. So this is going to be a, uh, a much longer one than normal. So my apologies for that if that bothers you. Yeah, the, basically the round table is uh, is empty because this is at the end game. I really hope there's nothing, uh, there's no interactions that we're gonna miss because I'm using a character that's at the end game. But if that is what it is, then so be it. Uh, we don't get any remembrance from champions here. So our options are enraged divine beast which is a charm depicting the crazed, cavorting dance of the Divine Beast conducted at the Tower Festival. Raises potency of storms. So that's going to be a new type of spell. I think there were already a couple in the base game. Divine Beasts are messengers of the heavens, and their rage mirrors the tumult of the skies, of which storms are the pinnacle. And then we have an Ash of War, the Divine Beast Frost Stomp. The Divine Beast Frost Stomp, a skill which imitates the wrath of the Divine Beast Dance, lift up a leg and stamp it down with great force, sends a powerful wave of frost straight out along the ground. Can be charged to increase power and range. Well, I guess we can get that. I don't know if we're going to be using any storm abilities. Maybe we should get the storm ability, because I'm probably not going to be using... Yeah, let's let's get this, just in case we, we find some storm abilities. I think that could be pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, guys. That is going to be all for today. Was, uh... <laughs> pretty wild. Really cool uh, final boss fight there. So yeah, the, uh, the Sight of Grace was... the one up here, right? I just manually look up this way. And I guess we've completed everything here, except for the... Uh, No, there's this whole area, so I don't know. Maybe there's more to this place. But uh, for now, that's going to be all. So, yeah, do drop this video a like if you have enjoyed it. And the next one should be out in a day or two. I'm going to try and have this be uh, every day, but you never know. So, all right, guys. Ash Herder out.